We're going to set the close limit switch on our actuator. I'm going to do it on the black side or the closed side. I'm going to use the adjusting screw in the center of the torque dial. And I'm going to bring my pointer over till it points in the direction of the trip mark. This particular actuator has a four gear train, so I actually have four adjustments. Closed, open, auxiliary A and auxiliary B. Your actuator may only have two adjustments. So I'm going to bring the actuator to the closed position and I'm going to do that either with the motor or the hand wheel. And I'm doing it with my hand wheel and I am in the closed position. So I am going to push in, turn in the direction of the arrow. For every turn of the screwdriver, my pointer will rotate 90 degrees. And I'm going to bring it around just till it points towards the trip mark. If I should inadvertently go one or two clicks too far, just bring it all the way back around again. And immediately stop turning on the trip mark. And I will check my switch setting using my hand wheel. My pointer should come immediately off. And my pointer should come back on again. And if you want, you can check it with the motor. Then stop it. I'm going to go back closed again. And my setting is complete. We're going to set our open limit switch using the center screw in the middle of our open torque dial on the white or open side of my actuator. I'm going to push in, turn in the direction of the arrow, which is counterclockwise for open. And I'm going to bring my pointer just around till it points towards my trip mark. If I should inadvertently go one or two clicks too far, just go all the way back around with it, just until my pointer points towards my trip mark and immediately stop turning. Now we can run the actuator either with the hand wheel or the motor to make sure that my pointer comes off. Stop my actuator and I'll bring my actuator back to the open position. And I'll verify that my valve is truly in the open position and my setting is complete.